Hello students. In this video I'm going to show you how you access GCF Learn Free and I'm also going to show you how to make an account for yourself if you'd like to do that. It's an optional item um, but you it's a good thing to do because you can track your progress and get certificates. So um, up in your address bar type GCF Learn Free and you can click here and now I'm going to go into GCF Learn Free and I'm going to click the message for the president off to just get rid of that on my screen. Oh, I actually opened it up. I don't want to do that. So watch what I I've got this open and I don't want it open so I'm going up here to tab and I'm going to close that Okay, and so this is GCF Learn Free. I'll go all the way down and back up. And you can search for a topic here, or the way I like to do it is I click on Topics. And we're going to start out over here in this Basic Skills. And I tell you where to go, and I put links in the different assignments so you can go to them directly. And so I'm going to click basic skills and here are my computer skills and there's office with Word and Excel and PowerPoint. Here's Windows and um, here's some digital photography and different uh, graphic design, Photoshop, different things if you might be interested. Okay, so let's come back up here. Let's click on, I'm going to do the, the uh, computer basics and here's a list of all the tutorials and you just have to click on these links and I again I have these links uh, set up in my canvas so you can click from there or come over here. Okay and I'm going to show you uh, inside one of the video, uh, inside one of the tutorials, and it gives you a little introduction. If this screen is too small to read, you can hold down your control key and the plus key and make it a little bigger, <clears throat> or you can click up here, these three dots if you have those there and click your zoom and make it bigger and make it smaller. I've got mine set at 110 and to get rid of this menu I press my escape key or just click out in this area here. Okay, now uh, keywords are highlighted in bold and so read through this kind of quickly. You don't have to read word for word and be real, real um, careful about your reading. Uh, it depends on what you know about computers and what your level is. If you're brand new, then it's a good idea to read this through. If you're not, you can skim it and see what you um, understand. Now, here are some videos within here. Watch this video to learn about buttons, ports, and slots. So, highly recommended. Click this go button right here, and this video will start on YouTube. So, watch the video, and at the least, watch your videos. Okay, and here it's got an older version of it if you want, but which we don't want. And then we have um, an interactive here. See the word interactive? So what are these like in GCF Learn Free? They're little orange buttons that you can click and it will tell you, okay, this is the optical disk drive called the CD-ROM or DV-ROM, depends on what it is, and then I can close it. So a plus if it's closed, and then now if I want to toggle it closed, I go like that, plus power button, what would this be? This is an audio in and audio out. 
and these are USB universal serial. So you'll be doing these interactives and then later on like you just uh, go through that and then continue and here's another interactive so plus check these out uh, some of you know what the front of your computer looks like but not the back so this is helpful um, okay so once you get down to the bottom of this particular video here's another here's a practice that you'll be doing I'm going to show you this real quick so you can see so let's say we have a desktop or you have an all-in-one computer which looks like this or your laptop and let's go to the laptop and click on that and then we have a little game here uh, click a cable then match it to the correct port okay so we'll right so we have this here and it is going to go into this part right here let's try the speaker headphones we'll go in over here this is the ethernet and it must be down here and this is our power button and that will go up here here's another USB so on the other side of the computer there's another USB slot okay so practice these different little uh, activities that they have for you and then we get down so you can see that the reading is um, it looks like a lot of reading but it really isn't microphones you know what a microphone is you know what a web camera is game controller and you can either click continue which will go to the next tutorial okay out you can go here I'm gonna click there and now we're inside a computer and it gives you another uh, video to watch and these videos are two to three minutes they are not long videos so that is important to know so then we go down through the rest of these and I want to get to the bottom again you can skim through there you can click continue which I did in the example before click back to tutorials and we're back to this list over here and you can click on the different parts uh, of what you're going to be covering okay now to um, if you wanted to make an account it says login to save your progress so you can get into your account on this little min uh, item here or if you don't see that go way down at the bottom and where it says my account okay so two ways to get into it my account here or up here to log in I'm going to log in and it has me logged in and I can sign in or I can create an account so to get started you're going to have to create an account and so if you're very beginner make up uh, Um, a username use your email make up a password that you like confirm your password and pick your country that you're from I could also type the letter U and go right down to the letter U's to make that go a little bit quicker. Okay, and then I say I've read the terms and I create my account. Make a note what's my username and what is my password. 
create an account, save your password if you have the option to do that. Okay, now you're going to maybe get badges of completion too and certificates. Right now I haven't visited anything, but there's my username. And this is not my real my name because this is the real name is what goes on the certificate. So we want to edit our profile and put in your real name and use a capital letter for your first name. Like don't do like that, that um, you want to have it capitalized. Okay, now when I look here, there's my real name and that's what's going to show up on my certificate. So far I haven't done any work. So I'm going to show you that if I go back and let's go into emails. And if I click through these here, getting to know my email. I'm going to go through it real quickly here and hit my continue. Go through some more. Hit continue. Contacts, this covers contacts in here. Think and calendar stuff. I think there's only a few lessons in this one. Right now it's not going anywhere because I'm at the end of the tutorials for there. Okay, so I'm logged in and my progress is being saved. Little click marks are on my items that I've covered. And I haven't finished them. And here's a little quiz. Actually, let's go through and we can do the whole whole thing here. And I want to read what phishing is and this different information. So important, all this, uh, what they cover in here is just really important. And then we have a quiz. And I'm going to submit, oops, I better. Um, I'm just going to submit different things. Next question. I'm not even looking at the question, but Okay, there's my results. I didn't do very good, but that's okay because I wasn't trying to. I was just clicking on it. So what we want to do is we want to look now. Where did my account go? If you look up here, it uh, it's you, you can't see account. So come all the way to the bottom, go into my account, and let's see if we have anything recorded here. Okay, I recently visited Email Basics and I completed five of five lessons. My quiz was 60% and 
I have a printable here, the certificate, and so this is my certificate that I get. Okay, so that's GCF Learn Free, uh, and if you want to create an account, go ahead and create an account. Um, it's good to do that because uh, you get those certificates and you can download them and print them and keep them in a portfolio if you'd like. But it's kind of an added layer to what we have to do. And so if you're uh, somebody that's been working with computers a lot, perhaps you would want to do this. If you're brand new, this is a little bit overwhelming. So uh, I understand that. Okay, um, so after you complete your tutorials then you will be able to um, uh, do the online quizzes well they're not really quizzes they're exercises and demonstrations so it's just kind of a a worksheet to go along with these uh, vid tutorials and so that you can process the information and see if you're understanding it you do have to get an 80 percent on the uh, online exercises so uh, um, you do demonstrate that you have knowledge of, of basic computers and things like that. Okay, thank you very much.